Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that came out on News One, October 8th, 2018. And I have the same question. Where the hell is Amber Geiger's toxicology report? Remember, they took blood from her. They did a blood test on her to find out if she was on anything the night of this shooting. Where the hell is the results? You know, the only thing we have seen in this case is Amber Geiger got fired and she moved out of the South Side Flats. Anything else, we haven't heard a damn thing. The only thing we heard is them trying to claim some planted marijuana in Botham Jean's apartment belonged to him. That's all we have seen. And then they found a backpack with some police gear in it. Now, why would Botham Jean have a backpack with police gear and he's not even a cop? It is obvious that stuff was planted. But ladies and gentlemen, when cops get up at the mic, especially the police chief, and they tell you it's gonna be transparency, that is only to pacify the public. Police departments or any job that has the nature of a cop like FBI and CIA and all that crap, none of them are transparent, none of them. And it is very obvious there's no transparency in this case either. All we see is the Texas Rangers and the Dallas police tight-lipped when it comes down to Amber Geiger. And you can see the fact that she's fired, still she is getting protection from them. It doesn't matter. So we don't have the transcript or the audio 911 call. We don't have Botham Jean's autopsy report. And we don't have Amber Geiger's toxicology report. So how the hell is that transparency? It's not. The cops are doing what we see them do in every single shooting case in America. Play defense for bad cop. When have we ever seen them put the victim first? We don't. You know, when these shootings occur, they try very hard to make the black victim guilty and make the cop that did the shooting innocent, the victim. Ladies and gentlemen, all of this stalling is done for one reason. That is so that Amber Geiger and her lawyers can come up with a good defense. That's the only reason why this is stalling. It's not for any other reason. They're gonna help her get her lie together before this case goes to court. She's gonna have everything all planned out and rehearsed. In fact, where the hell is she? How come nobody's talking about where she's located in the media? more than likely hiding out with her family, you know, in this whole thing. But there certainly have been a big cover up with law enforcement in this case. There's no doubt about it. We should not be waiting this long for these reports. And there's a reason why they're withholding it. I believe they're withholding it because they know damn well this makes her look even worse. And I believe the reason why they are not releasing Botham John's autopsy report is because that shooting did not happen as she reported it. 
what happened. You know, I'm going to say this again. You know, I said this during a time when I was interviewing with Phil, but I'm going to say this once more. When Amber Geiger went to that door and knocked, because all of the neighbors heard her, they said it was a major commotion. You could, you, there was no way you could not have heard what was going on. And you, you're in apartments, okay? It's not like you're in single unit houses where you might not hear anything. And so in many circumstances, you may still hear it. But they said they heard her knock and say, let me in. Now, remember, Botham Jean was not in bed. They said he was sitting on his uh, sofa and he was on the computer in the dark. Now, many people do that. that. That's not out of the ordinary, nothing unusual. Personally, I believe when she knocked at that door and said, let me in, he got up and went to the door. I mean, it's a natural thing for you to go to your door when somebody's knocking. He got up and went to that door. As soon as he opened that door, she opened fire on him. She, I don't believe she shot him from across the room. If he was wide awake, he got up and got that door. And she said she gave him police um, you know, she gave him commands and he didn't follow them. That's not what the neighbors are saying. They said, as soon as that door opened, she opened fire. Which means she shot him at a much closer range than what she said. She claimed she shot him from across the room. And I still want to know how that door got open. She claimed it was propped open. And you can clearly see those doors. You cannot prop those doors. You would have to put an object to wedge in between the door in order for it to stay propped. But I believe she shot him as soon as the door opened. She saw this black male and she fired on him. It was a more closer range shooting and not across no room, like she said. Shadowy figure, she didn't see that. She saw him. That's why she was able to put that bullet in his chest. Now, how the hell are you gonna do that in the dark with all the lights off? You can't. She, She's not that damn good of a shot. She got him when he came to that door. And as far as the marijuana in the police gear, I think she had that stuff on her when she went to that apartment. It makes no sense for Botham Jean to have a backpack with police gear and he wasn't even a cop. And as far as the marijuana is concerned, cops in America plant drugs on people all the time. They do it all the time. plant weapons on people too. They're withholding this information because it does not match her story. That's the reason why. Amber Geiger is a liar. She has lied through this entire thing. And at this point, I don't trust any of them. I don't trust the Texas Rangers. I don't trust the Dallas police. I don't trust the DA. I think they all are in cahoots with each other. And their main goal is to look out for Amber Geiger. It doesn't matter that she was fired. She still is considered one of them. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.